So basically, we, we want you to tell us what is really happening within the premises of the parliament, because during your address, during the inauguration of the parliament, you talked about uh, this, uh, this is going to be one of your priorities, right, Honorable Speaker. So we can see the construction is going on in the rehabilitation. What is really happening here? Yeah, first of all, as you can see the hall, as I said before, the reconstituted uh, channel has increased the number from 400 to 550. So this was the, uh, the initial hall. Yeah. Now, which was, the capacity was up to here, and you could only take about 280 people. Mm -hmm. So now we have 500 and 50 wow. for the TNLA. Mm -hmm. So it which could not take uh, this new number. Mm -hmm. So now we decided to expand mm -hmm. the hall from here to that side. Mm -hmm. And that one will take about um, 500 and, uh, 540 members. members yeah, at least the 10, you can give an allowance for those who will be on permission. Okay. Yeah. You so expect you cannot expect 100%. Mm -hmm. So we believe this will be able to cover wow. yeah, for a city. Mm -hmm. So as you can see now, they are putting the steps. Mm -hmm. After the steps, now they are going to put the chairs. Right. And I don't speak what happens because sometimes uh, the parliament invites diplomats and uh, others to come and attend some sittings or some inaugurations or some events. Uh, will it also be considered here? Because I can see you have the... Uh, the gallery is still there. Mm -hmm. The gallery is still there for people who would like to, for the public, if they want to come and sit and listen. Yeah. So there is still enough space. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes when the, the we have extra, we can put extra chairs, extra chairs. not necessarily the, the fixed ones. Mm -hmm. So you can see the renovation is going well. Yeah. Uh, we are only remaining with the ceiling mm -hmm. and the um, IT wearings, mm -hmm. uh, that is going to be. How are we expecting this to finish? The, what is happening here right now? Yeah, this depends really on, um, it actually it depends on the resources. Mm -hmm. If there are resources, then the work will go fast. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us these offices? For yeah, these are the offices of committees. As you can see, this is a specialized committee for regional in, uh, integration and East Africa affairs. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the washrooms. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the committees, these are all committees. In, uh, standing standing committees. committees, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, these are some of the halls mm. for committees, committee meetings. Oh. As you can see, I think there is a, there is a committee meeting here. Okay. So all around also, it is the same. Okay. Mm. So, the same specialized uh, so, committees. Um, are we talking about uh, national companies, yeah. uh, construction companies, who are handling this here? Yeah, yeah there is a local, local registered company. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? AFK. AFK. AFK is the one uh, that signed the contract for this. Yeah. And honorable speaker, there were accusations uh, some MPs were making against uh, or um, on uh, the the manner in which the construction or the rehabilitation was handled, including the former uh, speaker Lino Makan. He was actually blamed by some MPs. Now you came on board. You're continuing with what is happening. So. Is there any, or was there any report of misappropriation that you found when you came to office? Was there anything wrong with uh, the rehabilitation? Um, we, we have not really done like uh, investigation. So this is a lobby. The lobby, yes. Yeah, mm. so where are MPs sit. Mm -hmm. um, well, I came and found, yes, contract was signed for mm -hmm. the you know, renovation yes. of the original building. Mm. So this was, I think, during the time of, uh, of Makana. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the only thing I came and found which was still outstanding was the expansion. Expansion of the hall. Expansion of the hall. Of the hall. Now being done. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm only focusing, I'm focusing on completing this. The, uh, and the if, hall. Yes, the mm -hmm. hall and, uh, and the offices. Mm -hmm. You see right now we, have, we used to have 26 Specialized committees. committees yes. And now with the peace agreement, it has been increased to 35. Mm -hmm. So the space, the working space is not enough. And what is happening there? I will, sh I will tell you shortly. All right. So because of that, we don't have enough space for the specialized committees. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we are building um, extra offices. So this block you see here, 
is uh, uh, extra 16 offices. For specialized committees? Yes. It is uh, G plus one. So there are eight offices down mm. and then uh, eight offices up. Mm. So that will bring it to 16. Yeah. And then I also found that uh, there is no place for MPs to eat. They sit in near under these trees. Mm -hmm. So the other construction here, do you want us to walk there? Yeah, briefly we can walk, no problem. Mm -hmm. Cut some trees? A bit, yes. Mm -hmm. Few of them. Okay. To create a space for the construction. And the main gate was that side, if I can remember. Yes. Okay. It is still the main gate. Okay. We are just remodeling it. Oh. Reconfiguring it mm -hmm. to look to look like to look you know new, like the new to, government. <laughs> to look okay. new to look like a national parliament. The national parliament. Yes. yes. So, yeah, this, is, this one, this is the restaurant I was talking about. Okay. That will provide a decent place uh -huh. for the MPs to to take tea, to take lunch, coffee, and some coffee, and refreshment. Yes, mm. and then there is a there is another room like an archive where we can keep important documents because I also came and found that most of the important documents were destroyed mm. during the renovation. Yeah, but the the remaining. Uh, documents that are there we want them to keep them because that is history and you have library here yeah we have okay we have a library inside mm. but again we also need to improve it mm. and the parking space is it enough for the mps for the cars uh which is not enough mm -hmm. for the current number of mps we have mm -hmm. that's why we are trying to claim our land behind there mm -hmm. uh, this was a parliament land but uh kind of grabbing where is that just behind there right, okay. yeah um so we, we are claiming uh, part of it was given to the state secretariat of the SPLM. Mm -hmm. They have given us back to us. Mm -hmm. And then there is a church which is also built there illegally. Mm -hmm. We are also trying to talk to them to leave the space. So once it is the, they leave, mm -hmm. now we will open the, the fence okay. and create a parking place there. Okay. And that's where also the future, if we have to build a new parliament, that's where also it can be constructed. Yeah, and this place is going to be administered by the parliament or you'll bring contractors from outside. And uh, does that mean the MPs are going to uh, be offered uh, meals, lunch, coffee for free? Or not really, no, that's, mm -hmm. not the, that's not the idea. Mm -hmm. The idea is first of all, parliament to provide a space. Mm -hmm. And then we can give it to, we can outsource it. Yeah. Somebody to come and run it. To provide the food, ours is only to buy from, 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 the, from them. Okay. We can't run it. I don't think uh, it will be wise right. to do that. And as we walk back to your office. Uh, so the gate, right. as you asked before, this is the main gate. Um, we have just added some rooms for security. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it will still be the, the main gate and we will put, we'll put a, a signpost there, mm -hmm. big one. Yeah. Uh, to read the national transition national legislative assembly, assembly so that people can know this is the assembly. So that gate is temporary. Yes. That one is temporary. Yes. Okay. It is temporary. Right. It will also just be let for like security if there is anything. Right. And and finally now apart from this, uh, is there any plan uh, right now to about the construction of new uh, facility for uh, the parliament? Sure. That's a long term one. Uh -huh. Once the first thing is to handle the current situation. Uh, finish the renovation yeah. and then of course we have a plan to build a, a bigger a better structure for the National Assembly in the future but we, we are going step by step we finish this one and then the other one will come is it is it okay you would like to share with us the total budget of this what is happening these are different, different, uh, different, dif different uh, contracts. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you exactly the, the the figure for the whole project because the renovation was a different project. The expansion is also another one, another contract separate, and uh, yeah, the the fence improvement of the fence. So there are bits. Then it's not, it's not one contract. So which one of these uh, was your initiative since you came to office? Or the yeah, these are, my, these are my initiatives. Mm -hmm. 
the restaurant, this one, and then the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any challenges you would like to share with us, especially with the finance? Yeah, the challenge is the finance, mm -hmm. because the whole delay is because of finance. Mm -hmm. This, the company is not getting the, the, the payment on time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they try on their own just to keep pushing. So since I came, up to now, they have not been paid. How are we supposed to pay them? The Minister of Finance. The Minister of Finance has not been releasing uh, money for the economy? Yeah, the, not really. They, uh, they release because the difficulties of the finance, we know it. Mm. So they release money for operation. For operation. Yeah. So this uh, capital expenditure is where they are still finding difficulties now. But uh, they are trying their best. Okay. They have promised that they will try to pay them so that at least this main one uh, has to finish because we keep on going to Freedom Hall and sometimes yeah. when there are other functions there. Right. Uh -huh. If I can remember that office for uh, women uh, caucus, Focus. why don't you think of uh, constructing a better one for them? Because uh, 35% it we talked about earlier. It's, it's, it's in my plan. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's in my plan okay. to do that. But we are going uh, step by step. I'm only four months here, okay. so I can't do everything in one in five months. Yeah. Uh, in four months, but it's a long-term plan to get for them a better uh, facility. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for the speech. Okay. For your time. You are welcome.